Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be talking about the picks for the 2013-14 NFL season, week 13. This is a belated version, obviously I didn't get the to predict the first three games on YouTube, but I will tell you, um, honestly, I did get them right. I had Detroit and Dallas and Baltimore in all those games because I was going with the home teams in all of them. So anyway, first game I'm going to preview, uh, Cleveland Browns, I'm going to take them at home over Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars are, you know, maybe they look like they're playing a little bit better as of late, almost the resurgent Jaguars. I hate, it's funny to use those same words in the, you know, two words in the same sentence, but I will take Cleveland. Cleveland is at home, and I don't know Jacksonville's going to win another game this season, so I'm going to go with the Browns. Next game, I'm going to take Indy at home over the Tennessee Titans. Um, Tennessee, yeah, they won last week at Oakland. This will be a different story. they got to go to Indianapolis. It's going to be a little tougher. And, you know, I have to see Tennessee win consecutive games to believe it. So, anyway, I'm going to go with the Colts. Next game, I'm going to take Minnesota over Chicago Bears. Now, I haven't checked the status on this but because I'm not certain on Jay Cutler's status for Chicago, and it's at Minnesota. I'm going to go with Minnesota at home. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the New York Jets at home over Miami. I'm picking almost all the home teams, as you can see. Uh, New York Jets, right now, um, you know, they're a team that looks like, you know, they're not going to make the postseason. I don't know what's going to happen with Rex Ryan. His job is very precarious, you know, as far as his status for next season and everything there. So, but I think, you know, the Jets pretty much, you know, they got to win this one at home to have any chance to finish at least, you know, 500 this season and finish respectably. And being that it is at New Jersey, I'm going to go with the Jets. Next game, I'm going to take the Eagles at home over Arizona. Arizona's been on a rampage. I know their their defense has been relentless, but now they got to go to a little unfamiliar place. They got to go to, into Philadelphia. Philadelphia is starting to play very well with um, Nick Foles at quarterback. You know he's having you know you know nearly phenomenal run, uh, which includes that game where he threw the rec NFL record time <clears throat> seven TD passes. And I think Philadelphia will get the running game going, and Arizona's defense makes it close, but Eagles win the game. Next game, I'm going to take the Carolina Panthers at home over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, Carolina is just on a rampage. I think they continue their winning ways this week. Tampa Bay has been playing a little bit better. We'll go with the Panthers at home. Next game doesn't require much analysis. I'm going to take New England on the road over the Houston Texas. Houston is arguably the worst team in football right now, only have two wins and they're they're just completely going, you know, spiraling out of control and I don't think it could end this week playing um, you know, Bill Belichick coached um, team that's been playing very well. So I'm gonna go with the Patriots. Next game, Buffalo, I'll take them at home over the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta has really been a major, major disappointment this season, and they were one of the teams that I was thinking that you know would be one of the you know upper echelon teams and have a chance to go to the Super Bowl, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen this season. Buffalo Bills playing at home, um, I see them pulling this one out. It'll be a close game, but Buffalo wins it. San Francisco 49ers, I'm going to take them at home over the St. Louis Rams. Now, granted, last season. I believe St. Louis was the only NFC West team that San Francisco didn't beat in the regular season. It'll be a different outcome this time. San Francisco gets off the snipe as far as their um, play against St. Louis, and they will be victorious, I believe, in this game. Uh, Colin Kaepernick will get it going, and they'll play. Uh, they'll play well enough to win. Next game, Kansas City. Um, in the last two games, obviously, they've lost. They you know, that Vaughn defense has taken a little bit of a back step. However, this is the vengeance game over the Denver Broncos. They will be at home. Now, Denver showed some vulnerability last week, I believe. I believe Kansas City at home pulls this one out and sends on Peyton Manning and the Broncos their um, second loss in a row. Next game, I'm going to take the San Diego Chargers over Cincinnati. I'm not sure what it's about Cincinnati. I agree with what Chris Collinsworth had said recently about um, about Cincinnati, you know, not necessarily trusting them and being a little sporadic and erratic. I don't, you know, I'm not really quite sold on Cincinnati. They might be leading the AFC North, but I'm just not 100% sure on them right now.
but I'm going to go with San Diego at home in a tight game. Next game, I'm going to take the New York Giants on the road over the Washington Redskins. Giants had a great opportunity to really, you know, uh, make a little more strides in their division and be right behind, you know, Dallas and Philadelphia, but didn't work out last week and you know, Washington, you know, the Redskins and um, R.G. Griffin III, I don't believe he's 100%. You know, obviously, teams are starting to formulate plans against them. Washington's defense has not been playing very well, and the team has not looked good as well. And I think the Giants will go in there and win in a competitive battle. Next game, last but not least, Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to take them at home over the New Orleans Saints. Just a simple fact. You know, over the last um, you know season and a half, that Seattle's been pretty much invincible at home, whether it's preseason or regular. And you know, I just don't see them lose. I think it's going to be very hard for Drew Brees and company to hear audibles or hear you know the uh, plays that are being called. It's going to be very hard for them you know to hear their own play calling. And Seattle, um, I expect them to play very well, but on all sides of the ball in Seattle. Um, New Orleans might make it close, but no cigar, so Seattle Seahawks at home. Anyway, people, that concludes this YouTube NFL prediction segment for week 13 of 2013-14 season. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and giving you my analysis on week 14 of the 2013-14 NFL season. Till next time, people, stay well.